Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mod an LED into your Gajia water tank. So here's what you need. An LED, warm white temperature, some wires, an LED driver, some connectors, and also wire crimping tools. Make sure the LED driver that you got is 12 volt DC out. And here's some wiring diagram for your reference. You may pause this video and study these diagrams before proceeding. So before we begin, here's a teardown. Remember to remove the portal filter, the drip tray, water tanks, and also the cup warmer which is on top of the machine. Also remember to unplug any wires that is connected to the power. Remove the two screws on top and also the grounding cables. Notice the connector to the power switch in front and also the connector to the back of the power supply. So make two new wires using the piggyback connector for the power supply of the LED. Connect the positive wires to the switch in front and the negative wires to the power supply at the back. So the old LED driver which I got previously didn't really work out because the output is in AC. That's something you want to watch out when sourcing for an LED driver. So here, I soldered some wires to the LED and then I route them through a small gap in the Gajia's body. You may want to crimp the wires later on after you have routed the cables into the machine. soldering some wires to the new LED driver. So this LED driver's output is in DC which is more stable in terms of the current and the LED seems to work pretty well. So I route the LED driver's cable through the gap at the back of the body and then into the machine. And here's the review. I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and comment 
if you find this video useful. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.